Seventh Sense Phonecast. Find out about us before you find out about you. Hi, this is Sarah. It's three two three. Can I get your name there, please? Hi, Sarah. This is Sharon. How are you? How are you going? I hope things. Uh, I'm very good, Sharon. I hope you're well. Great. Now, what is it that you'd like me to find out for you, Sharon? Well, Sarah, um, it's been on and off with myself and Aaron um, for the last eight months. Um, kind of brought up the the fact of you know where was it going? Were we going to be moving in together, or mm. you know, basically speak, trying to guess what our future held with us you know um so it didn't turn out too good and i got angry and we kind of broke up but i still love the bones of him like i really do and just mm. hoping that we do get back together and maybe move forward mm. so that's what i'm trying to see what's in the future there for us yeah i feel that you will because i mean it is talking to me here about a lot of change happening but i think what you need to try and do is leave him to it for the moment let him run after you um, because mm-hmm. I think you've tried your ultimate best now. And, you know, what it is saying to me here is that the best way forward is just to take things slow with him, as in let him chase you, let him be the one to come to you, because I feel you've really, really tried your ultimate best with this man. Um, and what it is saying to me here is that it just feels, you feel mentally drained by it all yeah, at I this do. stage, mm-hmm. you know. I do. And, you know, from what I can see here, one of the cards that's coming up here um, is talking to me here about you and him having this relationship, um, mm-hmm. you know. And from what I can see here, he, he definitely wants, um, you know, to have something, you know, with you. But I think to a degree as well, he has a little bit of grown up to do as well. Would that make sense? Yeah, it does make sense. You know, because sometimes I think what it is is you may find um, that maybe you're worrying that he plays a lot of games. Yeah, it is. And, Mm -hmm. you know, the thing is, from what I can see here, cards that are coming up here um, is saying that you and him have have (coughs) a connection there. But it it is saying that for yourself, it is going to change. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So, I mean, how do you feel you're, you're about this yourself? I mean, do you feel you want to be with him or you're not really sure? Well, no, I really, I love him. I I really love him a lot. Um, mm-hmm. And he's perfect for me. And when we're together, it's perfect. Mm. Um, He's had problems because uh, he hasn't really had work, but he's hopefully starting a new job. So there was financial kind of pressure on me because of that. But he's hopefully starting work, so that will work out for him. I'm really very happy. It's just that he won't get into discussing anything about the future. Mm. Yeah. Uh, even even just kind of making me feel I'm not wasting my time with him. Yeah. Because I'm, 50, I'm know, 51. I'm not a yeah. young chicken anymore, you know. No, but and, I mean... I think you're doing the right thing, you know what I mean, in in how you're approaching this situation. Um, mm-hmm. Because one of the cards that's coming up here is saying to me here that, um, saying to me here that your relationship with them does have a lot of potential to be a whole lot better. Um, yeah. But it's a slow process. It's, it's something that needs to happen in its own time but you've mm. done your ultimate best and all you can do is do your best yeah uh have mm. you tra- when you try and talk to him do you, do you feel like he's not even acknowledging you almost um when it comes to no actually he doesn't want to talk about the future he doesn't want to talk about moving in together or getting married or anything like that or even an engagement or the future he just doesn't want to talk about it Mm, I mean, yeah. he is like he did lose lose his wife a year ago. Ah, uh, so, right, yeah, yeah. You know, but when we got together, it was neither of us expected us. But it's like we found soulmate in each other, you know. And I've been waiting a long time to find somebody like him. Mm. So it's very good on a lot of a lot of levels, but there is problems there, like. Mm, yeah, I mean, let me see. What it is saying to me here is the main thing and the most important thing now that I get from all of this is that there there's definitely going to be something to suggest that he will sort of be in. I'm not saying he's going to get over what he's been through, but at the same time, he knows himself 
that it can continue like this either. Does that make mm-hmm. sense? Yeah, it does. So from what I can see here, you know, one of the cards that's coming up here does say to me here that within, I would say, the next six weeks, things will change, things will improve, things will get better. And I do feel he's going to be there as part of your future, definitely. Yeah, I just let him chase you. I, I think it's really, really important that he's, he's the one to chase you, if that makes sense. Okay, <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> Yeah, and and I mean the the thing is, do you feel like he play? Is is it just the fact that you're worried he's playing games with you? Is it or? Yeah, I I do worry that he's just. Of course, all women women be worried that they're just being used. And I don't feel he he's thinking that, or I don't feel he's even thinking that of you. Do you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. there's nothing like that showing up here, and I I, I don't feel something to be too worried over, but. You know, at the same time, he does need, I think you need to build up on that trust. And I think that's, yeah. that's something that will happen. But from what I can see here, it does feel like things will get better. Okay. Uh, we're not in any contact now at the moment, so mm. I don't know how that's going to work out. Yeah. I mean, the last time you spoke to him, did you find him very evasive with you? Well, last time I spoke to him, he just said he didn't want to talk about that's the reason the whole argument and we, the kind of breakup happened. He just didn't want to talk about, a few, you know, getting engaged or any of that kind of crap. He said he wasn't ready for any of that. So I didn't want to get engaged, but I just wanted to at least speak that, know that there was a future. Because I've mm. been doing a lot of giving. He's been doing a lot of taking. Uh, John, that kind of way. The best way for now is just to, he needs, I think, reminding, you know, that you're not going to always be there unless he actually makes a very conscious effort that he's going to be there for your property. But yeah. it will happen. I, I do see him there. I do see him as part of your future. I do feel that he does love you, and I do feel there's a lot going between you and him. So there's there's a lot of potential. Is I mean, there love there? Sarah, does he love, do you think he loves me, though, Sarah? I feel he does, yes. And you yeah. know what it is saying to me here is that he has a lot of proving to you to do, and he definitely needs to prove it. But from what I can see here, it will happen. I mean, I know it seems like it's really slow and you feel like you take 10 steps forward, 20 back. But, yeah, you know, yeah. all your cards that are coming up here do suggest change. Change definitely for the better. Oh, that's great. Thanks, Sarah. I appreciate You're it. You're very welcome. Is there anything going else? To, I'm going to put a lovely review for you now as well. Ah, oh, that'd be lovely. Thanks very <laughs> much. But I really feel for you in particular that anything that's about to happen for you is good. Oh, thanks, Sarah. Oh, you're awesome. very, thank very you so much. Welcome. You're okay, very welcome. Thank you. I'll you're welcome, to you again, Sarah. You can, yeah, have a lovely weekend. Bye bye. You too. Bye, Sarah. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. We hope you've enjoyed this Seventh Sense phonecast. Our gifted professionals are able to break through the confusion and point you in the right direction. Go to www.seventhsensepsychics.com. We all have a path in life. Let us help you find yours.